Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Kiari, I'm with the Fitness Center. Um, today we're gonna be doing yoga scope. So let's get started. So we're gonna come down on our knee and you're gonna go ahead and open up your knee to the corner of your mat. Reach your hand over and kind of really opening up your hips as you swing your whole upper body down. And feel the weight of your forehead sinking onto your mat, releasing your hand further to the edge of your mat. I want you to slowly feel the stretch of your whole back. Feel the stretch through your shoulder socket, through your fingertips, through your wrist. Take a deep inhale. On your exhale, go ahead slowly walk your hand to the left corner of your mat and reaching to the opposite side. Coming to opening up the side of your body, feel the length. Stay here for just a couple rounds of breath. And come back to the center. When you're ready, you're gonna go ahead slowly reach to the other corner of your mat. And opening up the other side. And slowly release, come back to the center. Take a final deep inhale here. And exhale now, let go. Deep inhale one more time. And exhale, let go. I want you to start clearing your mind, clearing your thought, and let this be your best moment, focusing on yourself, focusing on your body, your mind, putting your time here on the mat. And when you raise, you're going to slowly rise up, finding your tabletop. Once you get here, go ahead, finding that stacking action. You're going to reach the crown of your head, and find that tabletop. Take a deep inhale, kind of drop the belly down, opening up your heart. Lift your gaze up. And feel that length coming from your collarbone to your chin. Exhale, wrap your spine. Deep inhale, go ahead, drop the belly again. Lift your gaze, lift your heart up. Lift your chin up to the ceiling. And exhale, you round your spine. Slowly find yourself back to the center. From here, we're going to start with the core activation. So go ahead, you are going to tap your toe under. And know that if you have any orthopedic issues with your lower back, you have option to stay grounded on your knee. Otherwise, we're going to start Activating our core together by hover your knee off your mat and feel the weight distribute evenly four corners of your glutes. So take a deep inhale here. And on your exhale, you're gonna just shift your weight onto the bottom of your feet and your palm. Gonna close your eyes if you have to. And I want you to breathe through tension to your body. Feel the fire inviting through your core, through your arms, to your lower body, through your whole back. Take a final deep inhale. And exhale, go ahead, right away, rising to your down dog. Pat on your back just a couple more times. Drop one heel down, drop the other heel down. Release that tension coming from your calf, your hamstring, maybe you feel tight in your ankle even. Know that you're here to find your natural V shapes and your natural V shapes is going to look and feel different. Every day, you come back onto your mat. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, let go. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk your feet 
feet, move your head, come into find your rack dog pose. This is where you're going to soften your knees slightly and grab opposite elbow, opposite arm. Sway left and right, not yes and no. Feel the weight of your whole of the body coming down to your mat, to the earth. And when you're ready, you can slowly let your arm down. Now feel the weight of your arms. From here, you're going to slowly close feet and toes to touch. Coming here, we're going to take a big leash, take a deep inhale. Exhale, let go. One more time right here. Deep inhale, reaching up to the asana. Feel the length of your whole body. Feel your bicep framing to your ears. Exhale, baby back bend. Breathing your heart forward. Lifting your chin slightly. Deep inhale, reach up to the asana. So it's so easy to let your shoulder rise, but you want to relax your shoulder down here. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, baby back foot, pop your chest up. Inhale to dasana, relax and melt your shoulder down. One more time together, deep inhale here. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale to dasana. Exhale, folding forward, fold hinge with your hip. Reach all the way down. Feel the tension rising from your pulse to your chin. Inhale, halfway lift. Palm coming onto your shin. Relax your shoulder down and keep your face forward. Feel the length in your spine all the way. Feel the crown of your head. Exhale, folding forward fold. One more time together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Plan your palm and step your feet back, finding yourself in high time to hold. Plan your palm, keep your gaze forward. Feel the length of your whole body, it's so important. You feel the weight distribute evenly. Feel the lift coming to your core. Relax the shoulder down the back. Keep your shoulder all the way in line with your hips. With your ankle, find a long line of your spine. Hold here to fire your core. For four more. Three, two, and last one. Send yourself back to your down dog. So turn on your dog if you need to. Take another deep inhale. Exhale, let go. We're going to repeat that sun A together. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, feet to meet your head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward, fold. Deep inhale to dasana, rising and reaching. Silence on that shoulder. Exhale, baby back bend. Deep inhale, reach. Exhale, folding forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your butt. Feet back, high plank to hold. Take another deep inhale. Exhale, down dog. This is the part where we're going to get start scoping with your lower body. Take a deep inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, coming step two, low lunge. We want to start slow here, so go ahead, drop down on that back foot. I want you to come to find the length of your hip flexor first. Take a deep inhale, reach up. Find yourself in your crescent boots. From here, you want to kind of melt your hip forward slightly. So you're opening up that hip flexor, but at the same time, you want to make sure your front knee stacked in line with over your ankle. 
Exhale, baby back bend, opening up your chest. Relax your back down. Deep inhale, reach. And exhale, hinge forward. We're going to transition to crescent lunge. And when we do that, you're going to use the power of your back leg to lift you up. So let's go ahead and start with tucking that back toe under. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, press the lunge. So find this dynamic posture strong. This is where you start finding your alignment. Keep your shoulders back in line with your hips. Where your wrist back in line with that shoulder with your elbow all together in one from your hands, come to your heart center. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, we're going to drop this down and lift up. Use that back leg to be the main driver of this movement. So we're going to do this size just eight. Look like you just have four left. Three more. Two. Last one. I want you to hold here. Reaching up, take a deep inhale. On your exhale, we're gonna take into another step. This is where you find your balance. From here, you're gonna lift that back foot up, coming to find your balance. So you're gonna add that leg lift, coming back to lunge. So you go ahead, leg lift, step wide back to lunge, leg lift, step wide back to lunge. Lift, lunge. So I want you to do this just four more. And I know you're getting just a little burn right here. All right, guys, you just have two more. So remember to really engage your back leg, especially that engagement coming from your glute. Last one together. Coming, to take a deep inhale. Exhale, warrior two. So opening up that back hip, relax your shoulder down the back. Take a deep inhale, you're gonna shift as you reach to lengthen your whole body. And reach to lengthen, shift forward. Feel the weight of your body, shift in that front heels. Gonna repeat just four more. You have final two. It's a really great way to open up your hips and find that length and alignment. Last one, opening up right here. Relax the shoulder down. I want you to circling your arms a little bit here. Kind of circle back. Know that this movement, full engagement from your whole back. So think about trying to wrap that shoulder blade to your spine slightly. And coming forward, just a small circle here to tone up your arms. And last one, deep inhale, length of your arm. And so reverse warrior, reach your arm. From here, a little over the way toward your back hand. Feel the length in your whole body, especially your front side. Exhale, heart feel your neck with your back foot. Plan your ball to start back, high plank to ball. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, down dog. I don't want your dog back here. All right, this time we're gonna start back with the other side. Go ahead, take a deep inhale. Exhale, out, let go. Inhale, lift the other leg high. And exhale, step through, low lunge. So again, we want to set strong foundation. You're going to drop down that back leg. You can keep your toe tucked or untucked, but I like a little bit more lavish, so I'll have my toe tucked here. So opening up this deep inhale. Press and move. Again, you want to melt that hips forward, allow the hip flexor to open. Reaching, pull that belly in tight. 
Find a long spine again. Think about pointing your tailbone down rather than back. Exhale, belly back bend, opening up your heart. We inhale, reach. From here, we're gonna rise up to our crescent lunge. So remember, we're gonna use that back leg to be the ninja of your movement. So go ahead, tap your back toe under and feel the weight shift on the bottom of your feet. Take a deep inhale and exhale, rise up to crescent lunge. Again, if you have to bring your hand to your heart, finding the center of gravity that you for that spine for today. Other way, reaching your hand up, challenge your whole body. Exhale, baby back bend. Deep inhale, reaching, press and lunge. From here, we're gonna go ahead, start with this legs. You're gonna come down to find your lunge. Hands can reach, or hands can be in your heart center. So from here, come down and bring it back up. Again, so important that you to keep good form so that you target the right muscles. Right here, when you're looking to really work your glute, your quads, as much as working on those core muscles, you are working so hard to strengthen your core. So think about your whole body going up and down on elevator. All right, just fall me up four more. Three, two, last one. Hold right here. Hold right there, opening up your heart. Take a deep inhale. Remember from here, we're gonna move to leg flip. One leg lift, two one lunge. So come here, one leg lift, find that balance. Step back with control, one lunge. You can start to slow. One leg lift, back, two one lunge. Lift, and lunge down. Lift, and lunge down. Know that it's okay to be a little bit wobbly. You have just three more. We do eight total, just like the other side. All right, here's your last one. I know you get that burn. Come back right here. Beautiful, take a deep inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Opening up, relax your shoulder down. Find that length in your whole body. Beautiful. Instead of reaching up, this time we're gonna reach forward. So you're gonna shift and reach forward. Shift and reach. Now I want you to create resistance in your arms. So feel the power in your arms as you close. Imagine you run your arms through the water. So there's that resistance before you coming to kiss your arms toward one another right here. Four more. Feel the control of your body and Wash that front knee down with the front knee. Pass your big toe. Last one, you're opening up right here. Small circle back for me. Again, soften that elbow, soften your face. Relax your shoulder down. And forward. You're almost there. Keeping your form is so important here. And left in your back. Relax the shoulder. Deep inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel your hand with that back foot. Plan your palm. Come back on your knee this time. We're gonna work on those push up together. This is your last step today. Go ahead, bring your thumbs at the corner of your mat. We're gonna do eight push up together. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring it down, chest to the floor. Now, if your chest can't get to the floor today, if you come here today, that's totally fine with me. All right, bring it all the way down. All right, we have four more together. Last two, get in there, guys. 
arms from today, last month. Now this time I want to come down the whole here. Ho, ho, ho. Think of our elbow at 90 degrees, so just pull there. For four, three, two, and one. Good job. Reach your hand forward. Sinking your foot back, stretch to your whole back. And just breathe. Walk your hand to one side. Center. And the other side. All right, guys. That's it for today. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead, uh, direct message us. Thank you so much for subscribing our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Kiari. 